Is Snapchat healthy today? How would you know that? Just go and check how many users it has? That's exactly what ratio analysis does. For all those lenders and investors out there, ratio analysis gives a clear picture about the company's stability in this unstable economic world. So let's imagine company's equity account, which consists of assets, also your capital, which is currently $40,000, and your debt, which is currently $20,000. So in this case, the debt to worth ratio is one to two. This ratio shows us how healthy is this company in terms of its ability to pay out debts. But before jumping right into it and actually explaining what a ratio analysis is, I want to make sure that when you analyze any ratio, you take only those companies which are within the same industry, because ratio analysis varies from industry to industry. So keep that in mind. In this video, I'm going to talk about the valuation ratios. What does the evaluation even mean? The valuation determines how much does the company worth itself. And the valuation ratio basically tells you as an investor how much output would you get with the less input as possible. So the first one is the PE ratio, which stands for price to earnings ratio. Basically, it describes the relationships between company's stock price and its earnings. So the equation would be the current share price divided by the earnings per share. Let's imagine that you have a company and your current share price is worth $100. Also, for the last 10 months, your earnings per share is worth $10. So we take our magic formula and do the math. 100 divided by 10 is 10. But what does it actually mean to you as an investor? Well, this ratio basically describes how is the market interested in your company. Because some companies might have the same earnings but trade at different prices. The higher the price of the stock, means the more interested is the market and the opposite simple so the second one is the peg ratio which is actually really closely related to the pe ratio so what it does it explains pe ratio in terms of company's growth basically the equation would be the pe ratio divided by the growth i know it's that simple so if the growth rate is higher than pe ratio it usually means that the company would go a little bit cheaper in the near future and vice versa simple so the third one is the price to sales ratio, which basically is the market capitalization divided by the total sales over the last 12 months. We usually want this ratio to be lower because it's actually logical. The higher the sales, the lower the value of the ratio. So usually it might mean that the company is undervalued. It is important to compare only the companies which are within the same industry because what might be good for the manufacturer industry might be absolutely different for the retail industry. So keep that in mind. So the fourth one is the price to cash flow ratio. Basically what it does, it just tells you how much cash the company generates comparing to its stock price or simply saying how much the company's investors are willing to pay for every dollar of cash flow. So the equation for that would be the current share price divided by the cash flow per share. So the last one, but not the least, is the price to book value. And actually, this value compares the market value of the company to its book value. And the equation for that would be market price per share divided by the book value per share. So imagine that you invested in a company and the company got bankrupted today. Actually, this ratio gives you an understanding of maybe you're paying too much for something that you will be left with if the company got bankrupted. So keep that in mind. That's all and you can subscribe to my channel because in my future videos I would share with you some other ratios and actually you can go to stockmetrics.net and see all the ratios in details with a ready to use analysis for free. So put this video a big thumb up if you liked it, comment below and also subscribe to my channel. I would love to see you next time. So bye.